Can I get a number two four count meal with a large sweet tea? No, that's it. Just some ketchup with it. Thank you. What's up guys? Welcome back to the Daily Bread. It is Tuesday morning or Monday morning because it's the day after Memorial Day. And the motivation is we are in a huge lack of motivation this morning. I did not want to wake up, did not want to get out of bed. I didn't want to do anything. I really did not. You know, it's super cold in the house. You know, the, the wife at home keeps it super, super cold. And it just, it's so hard to get up and want to do anything sometimes. But you got to, you got to be able to push through. You got to find a way mentally to wake up and push through that and get going with your day. You know, Andy Frisella, is it Andy Frisella, whatever, however you pronounce his last name, talks about winning the day. All you have to do is do whatever it takes to make sure that you win today. And then guess what? You wake up, you do it again tomorrow. And that literally, if you wake up every single day and all you care about is finding a way to win today, and then you do that again the next day, the next day, the next day, that takes away the mystery of success. You literally just have to wake up, do whatever it takes to win today. So I figured I'd drop some knowledge on you guys early first thing this morning. I'm waiting in the drive-thru over here at Chick-fil-A, trying, trying to get my sugars going. I'm not a big coffee drinker or anything or anything like that. So my, my sweet tea in the morning is definitely my go-to, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and fit through this skinny ass little drive through and, and get the day started. Look what I see. Look what I see over there. He's got it. Look. That's our tire. Right there. Look how dirty my finger is. That's our tire. Our tire's right there. Bean! The tire's here. Shh. I so hope that's the wrong side. The tire's here. The tire's here. <laughs> this is this is camera worthy right now. So what I'm hearing from all the guys in the shop right now, probably including Bean as well, is have you ever he actually heated up a Pop-Tart? Have you heated up a Pop-Tart before? Yes, we put it in a toaster, it's amazing. Are they better heated up? Yes. I've never had a heated up Pop-Tart in my entire life. I wouldn't necessarily say it's better heated up. I think it's about 50 Well, it depends on the Pop-Tart though. Like the blueberry one, you heat it up, like that blueberry jam, jelly, whatever. Stuff, isn't it? Oh my god. Have you ever had the s'mores yeah. one? Yes. The s'mores one, yes. That's a pretty good one. Yes. Nobody likes a cold s'mores. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you're right. You're right. But then it's like then it's like it's almost like a chocolate bar at that point. Exactly. So it, it's still good. I mean, when I eat my Hershey bar, I don't like it melting. Alex, you realize we're all plum sized people around here, right? I eat like a I eat like a plum sized person. So these are I these are conversations I'm allowed to be in, okay? What? Not yet. Stick around here. You keep looking like okay, okay. Look, I'm not playing games anymore. We're bringing the toaster oven out of retirement, and we are going to heat up a goddamn. I didn't know it was retired. We're gonna heat up a goddamn pop tart today. Explain what we're what we're doing real quick. Okay, so right here, my fiance has just caught the dog in the act, the brand new puppy. So okay. Here we go. This is what a guilty face looks like. <laughs> Let me. Guilty face. Guilty as charged. Look at him. <laughs> Look at him. Mm. Guilty. Mm. All in the damn bag. Busted. Busted. <laughs> oh, we are heating up the pop tart. It's got this like little little toastiness on the edges now. Hence the toaster, toasty. But I don't know when it's done. I've never done this before. Hey, the year is now 2020. <laughs> damn, I wish I would have got that on camera. Look, 12 inch pizza, timer, toast, bake, broil, keep warm, convection. All right, don't, la don't laugh at my methods. Look at it. I feel like, you wanna try a piece? Look at it, oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> I can actually like smell the cinnamon. I've never smelled the cinnamon in a Pop Tart before. Life has changed forever. Here we go. Here we go. Beer is too Lance. Don't let it burn your mouth. Try it. Come on. I don't want to. The gloves are not. No. <laughs> Smell it. 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 Sm
Just don't let it burn your mouth. Because it's not like a regular pop dot. It's heated up now. Everybody hates the outside crust because it's just like just doughy nonsense, you know? No. But when you heat it up, it's got this this crisp, almost like toasted edge to it. Almost like the crust on a pizza. My life has been changed forever. It's okay, baby. We'll, 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 we'll get together with you soon. We do have all four of the tires here, which is nice. Uh, that is the good news for today. We do have one, two, three, and four, finally. We did get the fourth one in today, but weren't able to get them put on, unfortunately. That, that's it. that is the bad news for today, but you know, we, we find a way to make do with what we got. Let's see what's going on with the boys over here at the upholstery shop. What's going on with my boys? So this is the chair. <laughs> Can I sit in it? Last time I was in here, Alex was telling me about this chair that he wanted to build. Last time I saw it, it was just styrofoam. There was no armrests on it, no nothing. And he was just kind of telling me the vision. And this actually, it turned out really good. Alex does all of this by hand. It's all custom. None of it's pre-ordered. He does all of this himself. So when you guys come and get repairs done or anything that you get done through Mag's Upholstery, you know, it's, it's all 100% genuine custom work and i think it turned out really good this is a, a this is embroidered in-house all the stitching's done in-house everything man i like it. it looks really good now 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 you need a red one can i it's like a here i'll let you i'm still there in my work go. clothes i feel important big boss big boss and it spins so you can like you can like you can like you know, you're sitting in the office and somebody comes in and talks to you. Front door. And then, there and you do like the. So. Front door. You know, you, you do like the, <laughs> you know, like, like the, the boss style kind of uh -huh. swing around. All right, look, here's the deal. This isn't a video that I wanted to make and it might turn really bad really quick, but I, I share everything with you guys. Um, I think I might be genuinely being stalked right now. Um, hold on one second. Hey, they're at the Zaxby's across from our house. Go over there? No, I'm I'm parked in front of the house, so I'm gonna give them ten minutes. If they if they show up to the house, I'm I genuinely like like this to me it's not a joke anymore, you know? Somebody pulls up to our house, sits out inside of our house for 15, 20 minutes, comes to the door and then leaves. And then I come back to the house and they're across the street. Like, yeah, that freaks me out. So that's why I'm trying to like find their license plate number so that God forbid something, I can like call the cops. So I just saw them in the drive through at the Zaxby's across the street, so. All right, hopefully they're there long enough that I can get a picture of their well, they were picking up, they were, they were picking, when I drove by, they were picking up their food in the drive-thru. So if they're coming back this way, they're going to beat you here. And I'm sitting in front of the house. So if they, if they come over here, let's hope to God it's, it's something good and not bad. Yeah, I know. All right, bye. All right, bye. So this isn't like, I'm not, this isn't a joke, you know, somebody... I got a picture of the of the truck. Somebody showed up to the front of our house, and I've had people, you know, come to the door and stop in our neighborhood. But you know, for somebody to pull into the neighborhood, come back this way, and sit out in front of our house for ten plus minutes, you know, that's kind of weird. And uh, so she calls me on the way home. It sends me a picture of the truck or whatever, and so I kind of ride down the road just to kind of check it out, just to see, you know, if that truck's still hanging around. And on my way back to the house. I see these, you know, I see this truck sitting at the Zaxby's. Now it very well could be they're just somebody that admires the truck, sees the truck. I mean, it's not a truck I've ever seen in my neighborhood. I've lived here, you know, for six to eight months now. So obviously I would recognize a truck in the neighborhood. And it just, I don't know, you know, y'all, y'all think this is, this is a game. You know, I film at my house and stuff like that, but it just, you know, and like I'm saying, you know, they, they could be, they could be a nice Group, group of guys just you know admiring the truck they could be fans of the channel or they could be here to do something you know that I'm not gonna speak about on YouTube and if that's the case then you know uh, I'm willing to do what's necessary to make sure that you know 
the, the people in my in my house are safe so if y'all are watching this you know be careful be be careful what you do be careful what you post on social media you know I'm not making this video this is like real time I'm filming this like when this is happening you know she's she's about to pull back up at the house and this is like real time I got off the phone that's that's not a recorded phone call so you know I'm gonna I'm gonna keep the camera on we're gonna keep the camera rolling we're gonna see what what happens you know my neighbor just pulled up um, actually you know hold on one second I'm gonna give him a call just cuz uh six give him a call tell him he freaked us out there we go we're gonna give him a call Ooh, rejected she just scared the hell out of me I really thought somebody was trying to like, show up at our house yeah tell him tell him I really thought somebody was trying to show up at our house but like I said this it's not a game like don't put your address out there. Show up at your house. It's Atlanta. You never know what's gonna happen. But so the person had dropped off a note at our front door and said, "Hey, my name is so and so. Um, give you all a little backstory." Okay. Give you all a little backstory. When I was switching out the headlights the other day, uh, a nice guy from down the street. He's got an F-150 with some 26s on it. Stopped and I talked with him for a minute. He said his son wanted to lift his truck, and I said, "Yeah, you know, I work at so and so. You know, to send him my way." Um, and I guess his son stopped by and dropped off a note. Um, that said, my dad stopped by and talked to you the other day regarding um, talking about look at, looking at a lift kit for my truck. My dad drives a blue F-150. Um, said you spoke last week while you were changing your lights out. Can you please give me a call when you have a moment at so-and-so number? So, we just freaked out for like no reason. But that wasn't a, like, that wasn't a joke. You though. didn't. I was freaked out. I went and started chasing I them. was ready to like, I know I'm not like big, but I was ready. What to are you going to do? I would, I would have died if I had to. I like a, a hair if I, competition. If I, to, I, I like to think of myself as a BB gun. Like I'm not gonna kill you, but if I hit you in the right spot, like I could really do some damage. The only thing you're good at is catching flies in this house and all the bugs and putting them in the toilet. Well, you put them under a cup already, sir. So. Yeah, I know. This girl will. Be, I will be at work, and this girl <laughs> will put a bug under a cup. Send you send a, picture. a picture and tell me <laughs> come get this when you get home. Like really, you if can't. If they're just, big and gross, you can't just no. Them, just uh, whatever. A okay. big beefy spider, no thanks. I'm gonna end the video off right there. We got some. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we end the video off. Mm. Before we end the video off. I really like those lights. We got some turkey burgers and we got. <laughs> coronavirus. <coughs> we got some turkey burgers and coronavirus. No, and, we don't. Uh, no, we don't. I got some pepperoni, and she's gonna hate me for it, but I got a gallon of milk. Cause your boy loves milk. That's the nastiest kind. It's whole hey, milk. Hey, 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 hey. Easy now. Easy now. That shit's good. Well, we got some good food tonight and I'm going to end it off on that. Cause you're I, a grown man I've had drinking enough. milk like you're a baby. Hey, hey you got to keep strong bones. Stay and healthy. it's not even from stay like your mom. healthy out there. Y'all got to stay healthy. Drink your milk. Get your vitamin D, vitamin C. Or take your vitamins. A, B, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. All the vitamins out there. Make sure you get them. If you, you know the little vitamin C packs. I got some of those, you know, if you want to, let me know. I'll, oh, from who? From, from, from her, yeah. So, yeah, stay, stay hydrated, all that good stuff. We're going to eat some good food. I'll see you guys next time. Let's get this bread. This is bread baby. That's what I'm talking about.